33 teams from the U.S. and beyond will pit their vehicles against each other through a series of events. Including a speed event and an endurance challenge with obstacles. What we want to do is get these engineering students out of the mindset of going fast, fast, fast into the mindset of building something actually useful for the real world applications that, that we try to emulate with this course. The most concerning obstacle I would probably say is the rumble strip. We don't have a suspension on our vehicle, so we're going to be feeling every single bump. What's the purpose behind the Rumble Strip Challenge? So the Rumble Strip Challenge really tests the ability of these vehicles to be utilized on multiple surfaces. If you're in a city and you're going across pavement, you're not always going to be on nice smooth pavement. If you don't put in a suspension system or if you have poorly welded parts, that Rumble Strip is going to be pretty terrible for you. Our bike is really sturdy. I'm not worried about it falling apart or anything. I think we'll do pretty good. Once teams have made it over the Rumble Strip, they then head straight into the next obstacle, the Slalom. Obstacles that require a lot of maneuvering, those tend to be our most challenging. We only give just enough steering clearance to do the obstacles that we're anticipating. It's just you know, annoying to have to cut away a little bit more and lose that much more on the aerodynamics. I think the biggest challenge is turning our vehicle because it's only from speed. I don't think it can go well through it, but yeah. The slalom really is to check the stability of the vehicle when you're making turns. It really tests the stability of these vehicles at speed. So up next is the hairpin. Yeah, so the hairpin turn is really designed to make sure that these teams have actually looked at the rules and can turn within the radius that they're supposed to have designed these vehicles for. This is gonna really stress some of those teams that may have a shakier steering system, but it's gonna be really advantageous for the ones that are nimble and agile on the course. At this stage, teams have made it through the bulk of the course and are headed into that final stretch with only a few more obstacles left between them and the finish line. Which of these obstacles should riders be really looking out for? I would say the quick turn. You're going at your full speed and at the last minute a judge tells you which way to turn. So you have a choice. You turn the way the judge says or you turn the way you'd already decided and get penalized. The winner will be revealed in our next episode. Visit efest.asme.org and follow us on social media. All right, first place goes to...